Hey, so a few weeks ago, David Bombal posted on LinkedIn about how he uses Draw.io. And I commented saying, yeah, I like Draw.io. I especially like how you can create interactive diagrams with it. Well, that comment got a lot of likes and someone actually DM'd me and said, hey, how do you do that? How do you create interactive diagrams? So I thought I'd take a second here and show you guys how to do it in case anyone wants to give it a try. All right, so I've got this diagram open here and nothing's fantastic. It's just a simple OAuth2 authentication flow diagram, all right? What we're gonna focus on is in each of these icons here, I've added some data to it, right? If we go to the edit data, we can see you can add key value pairs that are pretty arbitrary. You can name them whatever you want, right? Uh, add whatever value to it. And if you open it back up, edit data, there it is, right? But the important ones are this tag and its values. These are space separated values. They create an array, right? And tags, that's a special property in draw IO. And we're gonna use that. And each of these, you can see I've added the word steps and the number of the corresponding step that I want this to be displayed under, right? Each of them have a different set of steps depending on which step they correspond to. Well, my steps are laid out over here in this list. So I have steps one through nine and I've got a view all, okay? So if I click on one of these in the editor, right? It can give me the option to activate an action. I click that, look, different icons show up. That's pretty cool. Well, how did that work? Well. In order to make this happen, we click on this edit link button, right? Or if you right click, right, you can edit link down here in the context menu. Either one works. And what this gives us an opportunity to do is create a special type of link. Now you can create, you can add a URL, right? Or you can pass in some, uh, a tuple, right? The first item in the tuple is this type of link we're creating an action link using json a json declaration okay and then the second item is the actual json that gives instructions for how we want the app to behave or the diagram to behave when we click on this link so now just for ease of visibility here i've copied all of the actions right, the JSON into VS code so we can take a look at it, make it a little easier to see. And what you'll see is we have an actions key and that's followed by an array of actions objects, right, with keywords being used. So the first, we're gonna hide every icon with the tag steps. And we saw that, right, all of my icons have the tag steps, right? But in this action, and we're also gonna hide all the icons with the tag toggles. Those are the check boxes next to each of the steps. Well, in this one, we're also going to show any tag that has a value of five. So these, these action objects, they get executed in order, right? They're an array, so the order matters. And so the, everything with steps is hidden, but everything with the tag five is shown. So when I click on the step five, text right that's what will happen all of the icons that correspond to step five are going to show so now the last thing i just want to show real quick is one thing i like to do right is i like to add a background layer if you're looking at this right now you can't really see where each of these icons fit into the bigger architecture right so i like to add a background layer that has some transparency right so that as you're clicking through each of these actions and you see the different steps being highlighted, right? You can see where all of the currently active icons fit into the greater context of the diagram. Now you might be thinking, well, you can't actually interact with a JPEG or a PDF, and that's correct. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna export it as a JPEG or PDF. When we export this, we're gonna export as HTML. Now, a good thing to note is whatever state you export this in, that's how it's gonna load up. So if I export this with only these icons activated on step nine, that's how it's gonna appear when I load it in my window. So I'm first gonna view all. All this does is it activates every icon with the step tag, right? And then I'm going to export as 
HTML. You have a bunch of different options here that you can play with. I like to take off Lightbox, take off Fit, right? And all these basically. <laughs> I export it. You can see I've already got a copy, but I'll overwrite that. I'll replace it. Okay. And then let's open it. All right. So I've got my diagram open in this Chrome tab here, right? And you can see all I've got to do is click on each one of these steps and it'll highlight or activate the icons that correspond to what's going on in that step. And if I jump down to view all, it'll show the diagram in its entirety. So that's it. That's interactive diagrams in draw.io.